Today we are going to discuss the problem E romantic glasses. We are given n glasses arranged in a line and there are two friends which drinks one by one. Now we want to find a continuous array such that both the friends uh, take tot, uh, equal juice. Or we can say that the uh, in a given subarray that we considered the sum at the even position and sum at the odd position should be same of the original array. Now let's say if we take this uh, example, uh, let's say fourth example, if we take this subarray. Uh, then sum at the odd places that is uh, 11 plus 1 plus 1 that is 13 and also the sum at the even places that is 2 plus 4 6 plus 5 11 plus 2 13 so we can take this sub array and will that will output as yes so uh, and similarly in the last test case we can take this sub array which have even and odd places are same and uh, we can take this sub array now uh, what we need to do is let's examine this so let's take this sub array and uh, what we have is uh, in odd places we have 1 and then 11 and then 1 and then also 1. Now in even places we have 2 and 4 and then 5 and then 2. And if we uh, sum all, uh, if we uh, sum up the last 3, we get the 13. And if we get uh, sum of the all those even places, uh, we also get 13. Now uh, we need to find a uh, sub array uh, with the given sum. Now it is difficult to find out uh, what sum will be of the required uh, sub array. But uh, what we can do is if we multiply any of the odd positions or even positions by minus 1. So what we will get is uh, we have to just calculate the sub array with a zero sum. What I am trying to say is let's take if we multiply all the even positions. Uh, let's take this we have multiplied by minus 2 and minus 1 and this is minus 1 and this also multiplied by minus 1 and this also multiplied by minus 1. Now uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to calculate the uh, sub array with a zero sum. So now uh, if we calculate the sum of this we will get zero. So now uh, we uh, do not have to uh, calculate a certain sum we have just have to calculate the zero sum which can be done easily which can be done using prefix sum. If we maintain the prefix sum of the array and if the prefix sum repeats that means uh, for example, if we uh, take a prefix sum, we will get 1 and then 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 11, 10. Then 10 minus 4, 6 and 6 plus 1, 7 and 7 minus 5, 2 and 2 plus 1, 3 and 3 minus 2, 1. Now, if we see if there is a n, any repetitions between them. So, here we see that 1 is repeated at the first and the last. So, what this means is, uh, this means that the uh, sum till first element is 1 and sum till last element is also 1. This means that the uh, sum of the er elements between these two is 0. Uh, so we can easily say that the sum of all these elements is 0. So we just have to find uh, in the prefix sum uh, the elements which is repeated or not. So for this uh, we have taken uh, inputs of all the integers and we have multiplied the uh, even indexes uh, that is 0, 2, 4 and this indexes we have multiplied by minus 1 and we have maintained an unordered set of long long int. Now uh, what we have do is we have uh, maintained a prefix sum and initially we have inserted 0 in the uh, set. Now uh, what we are trying to do is uh, uh, accessing each element individually and we have uh, checked whether this element exists in the set or not. If uh, for example we have inserted 1 now minus 1 is not in the set we will so that we it will go in the else condition it will in, insert it in the set then similarly for 10 6 7 2 and 3 now when it's come to 1 uh, it's already inserted in the set this means that the uh, sum of the contiguous sub array is 0 and uh, this means that uh, the sub array uh, sum is uh, continuous and is even in both positions both have same sum now uh, we can if the uh, element is already present in the set we can print yes and we can make the status equal to true and if uh, not status uh, we can print no and this was the solution thank you